Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video. Thanks once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review channel. The subject of today's video are my top five reasons the Caveco Sport is a great starter fountain pen. Before I get started, please be reminded to check out my sponsor Pen Chalet over at penchalet.com and be sure to use coupon code GOODWORDS at checkout to score yourself extra savings on all products on the Pen Chalet website, including the pen featured here today, the Caveco Sport. Also, don't forget to check out the Penboy Roy Pentertainment Podcast, where Tom the Odd Oink and I discuss all things related to the fountain pen hobby. It's a lot of fun and a great way to kill time and brain cells without the use of illicit substances. Just be forewarned, it's not for children. You have been warned. Did this ever happen to you? You're at work and someone comes up to you knowing you're a complete and total fountain pen freak and they tell you that they want to get started into fountain pens. Then they ask you what you think is a good pen for them to start with. Then. Like a doctor diagnosing erectile dysfunction, you bombard them with questions in an attempt to make sure you recommend to them the best possible fountain pen to start their journey. What's your budget? Do you like your pens long or short? Do you like your pens small and thin? Do you like your pens small and fat? Do you like your pens long and thin? Do you like your pens long and thick? Do you like your pens light? Do you like your pens heavy? Do you like your pens made of metal? Do you like your pens made of plastic? Basically, you ask them so many questions, you find that you simply have overwhelmed them with so many questions and decisions that they decide that maybe the fountain pens are not for them because you inadvertently gave them the impression that fountain pens are way more commitment than they were ready for. Well, if this story in sum and substance is something that you can relate to, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to go over my top five reasons the Caveco Sport is a great starter fountain pen or a great pen to give someone who's looking to get into fountain pens. Now, don't get butt hurt. I'm not saying that this is the best or greatest starter fountain pen ever created in the history of anything ever created. That is an entirely different conversation. I'm simply giving you my five reasons that I think that this pen is a great option if you're new to the fountain pen hobby or trying to get someone else into the hobby. So let's get started with number five, ease of use. This pen is simple. I'm talking as simple as it gets, right down to the packaging. It includes an ink cartridge, and although it can be used with a special converter sold separately, I don't think for the newer user this is particularly necessary. With the cartridge, all you need to do is pop it in and you're good to go. There's no need to overthink it. Being it's such a small pen, I feel like the whole converter discussion can come later. But in the event you decide the small converter needs to be part of the conversation, then being that it's a very simple crackhead syringe style converter, I don't think anyone will have too much of an issue figuring it out. Moving on to number four, consistency. You know what I hate? I hate when I recommend something, anything to anyone, and whatever it is I recommended makes me look bad. Did that ever happen to you? You get one of your buddies to buy a fountain pen for themselves, and it turns out to be a hard starter or a pen that is plagued with baby's bottom? That kind of thing is a combination of bad luck for both you and your buddy as well as lack of consistency on part of the brand. It disappoints your buddy and makes you look stupid, or at least feel stupid, if not responsible for the bad experience. For me, it makes me feel some need to make the situation right for my buddy. This is another reason I feel that the Caveco Sport is a solid pen for a starter fountain pen user. I have many of these pens of various nib sizes, and what I find is that the pens are perfect writers out of the box irrespective of nib size. This is super important for me when suggesting a newbie fountain pen enthusiast a fountain pen as well as if I were to give this pen to someone. The consistency of this pen gives me confidence that when I recommend this pen or give this pen to someone, it will do its job well and do so in a way that will give the user a good experience and impression of what it's like to write with a good fountain pen. Moving on to number three, unique design. For me, one of the first impressions I find people have of fountain pens is the aesthetic. If a pen looks too off the supply or looks too cheap or looks too generic, it may lower the value of the overall experience for someone that has never used a fountain pen before. For example, if a person's first fountain pen looks no better than a G2, then what would be the reason for that said person to cross over to the world of fountain pens? 
After all, something about the pen needs to appeal to the first timer, and a lot of times, being it's their first time, the writing experience may not be something that they immediately or entirely consider. In that case, the design of the pen plays an important role in drawing the attention of the newer user in the direction of the fountain pen. So in the case of the Kaveco Sport, I think that the design is unique enough to pique a person's interest with its weird naked crayon slash lipstick shape. Additionally, in the event that the pen is purchased without the removable clip due to the octagonal shape of the cap, you will find that it's not going to roll away from you if it's left on a desk. Now, being that this is a pocket pen, it's fair to say that writing with the pen unposted feels a little bit like writing with an IKEA pencil, so you may want to post the pen, as doing so makes the pen feel world better. I would even say that posting the pen makes for a perfect size writer with a perfect balance. Moving on to number two, various colors. This line of Kaveco Sport fountain pens come in an assortment of colors that can meet the palette of pretty much everyone. If you like simple and understated, there's an option for that. There's an option for if you like bright and loud. If you like transparent, there's also an option for that. And if you're like me and love the color green to the point where everything has to be green, well, there's an option for that too. And if you're getting this pen for someone, you will certainly have options that this lucky pen person will love. Moving on to number one, cost. Let's talk coin. The cost of a pen easily is one of the most important factors when buying a fountain pen. Oftentimes for people who are first time users of fountain pens, if the price tag is too much, we'll immediately back off. For many people who don't use fountain pens, the idea of paying for pens is somewhat alien to them. People are used to using a pen and losing it, the concept of spending a few bucks on a pen is completely insane. However, in spite of this, what I have noticed is that people I speak to about new fountain pens and stuff, they're willing to pay about $20 towards their first fountain pen. I get a lot of, oh, $20 isn't so bad. So that's why I love the fact that the Kaveco Sport only costs $25. Now, there are more fancy versions of this pen out there with the Kaveco Art Series and the metal versions such as the All Sport and the Brass Sport, but in terms of the Sport line shown here, these will only cost $25. Now, this is for the bare bones packaging of the pen and the included ink cartridge, and this will certainly be enough to get someone started. If you want the mini crackhead style syringe converter, that's gonna run you an additional $5. If you also want the removable clip, there are two versions. One is a plain flat clip that will run you $3, and then there's the deluxe version with the brand name stamped into it, which will run you another $6. So where the bare bones pen would cost you $25, the converter plus the clip would run you about $36. Now, to me, it's not too bad, but don't forget this is for a newer user and the price point above the 20s could dissuade the newbie. So I honestly think the safest bet is to stick with the bare bones, unless you intend to buy the whole set for somebody else. Hey, don't forget about coupon code GOODWORDS at checkout on the Penchali website. That was my top five reasons that the Kaveco Sport is a great starter pen. Now, don't forget, I'm not saying that this is the greatest starter pen ever. I'm just giving you my top five reasons. I think that this is a great option for a starter pen. I will surely cover other pens out there, but today I'm just talking about the Kaveco Sport. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.